Hi guys. In this video I'm going to repair and upgrade this uh, Dell uh, 3560 that I got from eBay. Basically it uh, looks uh, pretty good. It has a few small issues. It was dropped in this corner here. It has a little bend, but that's not a real problem. Another issue yeah, still in this corner, you can see uh, the plug is uh, it went completely in. Now I have no idea. This was dropped while the charger was plugged in, and that made it bro uh, break. I'm not really sure. Hopefully, this wasn't attached directly to the motherboard, and it was just attached with the uh, wires. And if it, if this is the case, then. Um, just the plastic is broken around it and I can fix it pretty easily. So we will see about that. And it doesn't have... Uh, actually it kind of... Uh, it's written here. Uh, power uh, socket uh, is bad. Loose actually they have written here. They can't test it so I have no idea if this will actually work after I repair it. Uh, two free slots of DDR3. No hard drive uh, and uh, no caddy and screws for the hard drive. So yeah, we will see what we can do about it. I have a 500 gig hard drive that I want to put in and for the moment uh, 4 gigs of DDR3. If everything works perfectly I will put uh, 4 more gigs in. So yeah, at this point let me just try and open this for the first time. I basically don't have a clue what I will find underneath it. Not even really sure how this uh, comes out normally. It seems like this. And yeah, we have the RAM slots here and the hard drive. Uh, bay so okay next I'm going to stop the video for uh, a little bit and just uh, try and figure out how I can get to the where it is here it is to the power socket as easily as possible without taking all of this apart I'm not really sure if that can be done or I really have to take all this apart so yeah Let's see what we do next. Mm, yeah, I wasn't really lucky. It seems I had to take this apart almost completely to get to this. I could have uh, reached it only by taking this part and keeping the screen. But no, it's better like this. And basically you can see what happened. This was uh, put in this position like that. And the only thing that was keeping it in place was basically this plastic that broke off as it has a latch here that goes into the channel on the plastic. So the plastic was, uh, was holding it back. When it was pushed really hard this broke off and it's flapping around in the breeze. So at this point I'm thinking that most likely this laptop will function correctly because uh, this must have uh, happened with the plug in. There is no other way around, so it was probably working when it uh, dropped. So at this point, I'm going to uh, to use the super glue to hold this in place. Then I'm going to use uh, my old method of uh, putting some, uh, uh, basically some material, some cloth. Uh, Sorry, one moment. Sorry about that, guys. I had an important call. Basically, I'm going to super glue this in position and then use some cloth with uh, super glue on it to make sure this will be very, very strong. Uh, cloth with super glue acts like, I don't know, uh, carbon fiber. It's not that strong, of course, it's not the same thing. But from my experience, when you put super glue on cloth, it becomes 
really really strong and it doesn't uh, crack like like only super glue by itself so that's what i'm going to do here and see how everything goes and on top of that most likely i will put some uh, hot glue just to make sure that it uh, has something to to push against so yeah let's do this okay all done this is how it looks like while I'm waiting it for it to to dry and just a few things that I want to tell you about it uh, try to use some cloth that is a little bit stretchy so you can push it in all the little spaces use the type of super glue that uh, flows like water not the gel one if you want to use the gel one just as a coat after everything is finished but first you need you need the one that is like water uh, be careful use this just in a well uh, vented uh, area because lots of bad fumes are released and make sure that you don't cover anything uh, that you shouldn't cover Basically, you can see I've stopped uh, somewhere because from here on uh, I have the hinge for the display. So, yeah, that's about it. And this will be really, 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 really strong. Probably it will never ever have any issues with this uh, plug. So I'm going to wait for it to dry at this point. Okay, guys, a few hours later. It has dried up completely. Listen to it. Maybe you can understand how tough it is at this point. And the surface area is really big now, so it will not be able to, to break or remove itself or something like that. So this is about done. I'm going to start putting it uh, back together and maybe I will still put some hot glue in this area if I see that I have enough room and it will not uh, uh, come in the place of some other component although it shouldn't, I check but you never know so let's start putting things back together I've put the display in place. Basically, there are two screws on uh, the back, one here and one here. Make sure they are tightened. Then turn it around. Hopefully, you should be able to make it a little bit straighter now. Hold on to the... Huh, this is harder to do than expected. You should hold on to the hinges as best as you can. And then uh, put back the screws in the front. Hopefully you can see. Let me just check. Do not over tighten, but make sure they are tight enough. like I'm putting my hand in front of the camera. Okay, so this is in place now. Tilt it back. As you can see, I have enough room here to put under this metal to put some uh, hot glue, just to make sure that even if the super glue with the cloth cracks, it doesn't have anywhere to go behind because it will be held in place by, by the hot glue. So yeah, that, that will be just a more mechanical failsafe, if you want to, to call it that. Okay, next. Let me plug in, uh, let me just bring this closer to you. Hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing. Plug in the Wi-Fi cables, the white one, the shorter one, basically uh, closer to the display. These are always a pain to plug in. 
I have no idea why, but yeah, I'm going to go back to that one later and I will try with the black one. Yeah, this one worked better. And the white one is in. And this one, the display cable basically, goes into the slot and it just uh, slides in. Make sure it is in, push on the uh, ends and then put this uh, back. This will just make sure it doesn't come off by itself. And at this point, make sure the cable is back inside the hinge because it has here a channel where it should be. It is in now and we are done. So at this point I'm going to bring my uh, hot glue gun and put some glue here. Filled up the whole uh, space with uh, hot glue. Now basically even if this plug becomes loose and the super glue breaks, which it'll, it will not, but let's say it could happen, it doesn't have anywhere to go because of the hot glue. This is not uh, really a bond, the one with the hot glue. It, it is just uh, to mechanically keep it in place. It will not allow it to go anywhere because of the shape of this uh, hot glue when it dries. You don't uh, count on this type of glue to keep things stuck together, but you can count on it not changing its shape really. So that's about it. The plug is completely secure. I'm 99% safe. Uh, 99% sure that it is even better than what it was when they made the laptop. So now let's start putting everything back together. The top part is on. There are uh, five uh, flex cables on this part and one on the back right here. Make sure you uh, route this one through its hole before you close everything back because uh, otherwise it will be caught underneath and you would have to take everything apart again. Uh, basically now let's put the five screws back in. Again do not over tighten them. Hopefully you can actually see what I'm doing. And I must say I'm not really a fan of uh, what they did here with this uh, chipset I think. Basically it just uh, touches the underside of the keyboard and it spreads heat uh, through the keyboard. So basically it's not quite okay. If you push really hard in this area, you will be pushing directly on the chipset. But yeah, what can I say? This is the way they, uh, they did it and I cannot do anything about it. And at this point, hopefully I will be putting the keyboard back in. And here it seems to be a um, plug for a flex cable that uh, is missing in this particular keyboard. Maybe there is another one with uh, light or something, I do not really know, that actually has that one. And there is something in that connector. Cleaned it out. Now I should just remember how to put this back in. Sorry if you cannot see anything, but I can't do much about it at this point. Plug this keyboard into its position. And the top 
should clip right in. And at this point, uh, this is done, we go on the other side in a moment. Now that I've uh, turned this around, I'm going to plug in the last flex that I told you about. Okay, let's see. Uh, and start putting some uh, screws in basically if I could actually remember which goes where to this uh, two of these flat ones go here actually you don't even see that maybe now After a while of uh, opening up laptops, you kind of learn what type of screws goes where because most of them are quite similar. For example, in this area, most of them have something like this small ones, and many laptops actually have small ones, short actually, but uh, bigger than these really, really, really flat ones, similar to the ones that I put there. And the number of them goes anywhere between three like this one to five on some laptops, maybe even more than on others. Okay. Two long screws in the corners. At this point, uh, I'm going to put the bottom ones in. This even have uh, some covers. that go only in a particular position. Okay, that is in. And what next? Okay, I'm going to put the optical drive. It has a silver screw. Actually, this I'm going to stop the video for a second. This seems a little bit bent, so I'm going to actually no. Or is it yes, it is bent. So somebody tried to take this off without undoing this screw. So I'm going to try and bend all, everything back a little bit. It's in the correct position now. I'm just going to, to slide it in. And put it screw. Okay, and next we have uh, four more screws, and that will not be actually really funny. Let me just try and remember what goes where. I usually put my screws uh, in a position as similar as possible to the back of the laptop. So basically I'm searching for holes in particular positions. Like now I know one of them is here and actually one should be lower. Ah, okay, it's actually here. So the, the position that I kept my screws helped me find the, 
the second hole. When I was doing uh, work like this on laptops for the first time, I took a picture of the back of the laptop, printed it, and put all my screws exactly from the in the same position where the hole from which I've taken them out was. So that made it basically impossible for me to to do something wrong. Okay, we are about done. Uh, at this point, this should go on with three screws from the other side. It clipped into position. Not a really strong clip, so don't expect uh, uh, a strong noise or something. It's holding position mostly by these uh, three screws. The clips are okay, almost uh, toppled down the camera. I have to do some modifications to, to this work area, it's not quite finished and hopefully then the camera will not be in my way and I will have way 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 better lighting but yeah sadly I had so much work to do that I didn't manage to finish it okay that's about it and now let's go to the next step I'm going to put uh, a single memory module in the lower slot it clipped into place and uh, the upper slot is waiting to be populated when there will be a need for it uh, sadly I don't have a caddy for this laptop so I'm basically going to to plug in just the hard drive like this but it seems hmm, I don't really like it it should be a little bit higher maybe you can see let me try when it goes in it jumps up a little bit so I need to have a spacer between it and the laptop so I'm going to put some double sided uh, tape on it plug it in then rest it on the tape and just a tiny bit of double sided tape on this other or actually no on this other side I will put uh, something like a, sp a sponge you will see in a moment okay ready to do this I've put uh, this sponge hopefully you can see it as a spacer between the cover and uh, two double sided tapes to keep it in position so basically I try to keep it a little bit up until I plug it in fully then rest it on the tapes and this will uh, Keep it down although the, it already stays by itself with a double sided tape just an assurance with this and now yeah let's get actually it has if you can see here so i'm thinking i will put this on the side where it will not uh, make contact with the ones already in okay I don't really know where the clips are, so I'm going to push all around. Okay, we're in. One screw here. And one screw here. One clip there. And that's about it. Let's plug in the battery. Weirdly it goes in like this, not like other laptops. And we are about done. I'm going to go grab uh, a charger. All done. I have no idea if this will power on, but it seems to be getting uh, power. Hopefully it actually does work. And it seems to work trying to boot from the network let's go into BIOS and we are online 
And damn, this thing has an this thing has an i7 CPU. Well, well, well. <laughs> this is way better than expected. I thought I was buying an i5, not an i7. This is it, guys. And next, I'm going to set the BIOS like I uh, always do and uh, put uh, Windows uh, 10, I'm thinking, because this has uh, embedded Windows 8 license and I'm thinking it should recognize Windows 10 and uh, install it uh, directly activated. If not, I will put back Windows 8 and upgrade that to Windows 10. But hopefully it will go with Windows 10 from the, the start. So this is the cheapest i7 that you can get. Just because they couldn't uh, test it and they sold it as not working. And it has a little bit of damage in the corner that I already fixed. So yeah, go figure. Windows 10 installed, running beautifully. I... Uh, downloaded uh, this little program to search in the BIOS and give me the correct Windows uh, 8 key. I will click on activate Windows 10. Sorry for the noise of my phone. I will click on activate Windows 10, insert the correct uh, key for this laptop and it will allow me to, to use Windows 10 activated. And uh, as a bonus, something even better uh, this laptop has a dedicated graphics card a pretty powerful one <laughs> so yeah this is the best uh, laptop purchase that I've, I've done basically a broken laptop that ended up uh, being really easy to fix and it's really really good and it deserves an upgrade so it will get uh, 8 gigs of RAM low voltage RAM that is and maybe in the future even 16 gigs 32 who knows this accepts 32 from what I know so yeah this is pretty awesome and from what I'm thinking at this point let me just show you this doesn't need to be here anymore this laptop doesn't have any problem anymore it's a beautiful perfectly working laptop with incredibly good specs way better than what I expected from it so next I will activate Windows and then upgrade the memory okay let me just uh, show you what I'm going to do activate Windows change product key and here I will enter the key that I just got Uh, doesn't seem to be accepting the key from Windows 8 and at this point I tried to follow a few guides that I found online none of them seems to be working I don't uh, want to waste more time I'm going to install Windows 8 upgrade it to Windows 10 then I will have uh, an activated Windows 10 format the drive install Windows 10 and it will see that it was previously activated and it will activate by itself. So yeah, basically this is what I'm going to do. I don't want to dig around anymore with various gui uh, guides that don't seem to be working. And Windows, get your... Uh, Windows. Microsoft, get your shit straight. Again, you have problems with your licenses. So yeah, let's do this. Well, screw you Microsoft. Windows 8 is able to check the BIOS and install the correct uh, key. It activates without any issues, but Windows 10, no. Microsoft, if you want people to upgrade to Windows 10, make it easy, without errors. 
why the hell it is so hard to understand so yeah basically I'm going to put Windows 10 on top of this so it will keep the key and become activated and then I'm going to install a fresh copy of Windows 10 and it will stay activated but be a fresh copy so the hell with it I'm just going to get back to this video when I'm on the final Windows 10 activated and working version because it really is quite annoying Okay, we uh, finally have uh, activated Windows 10. It worked. Not easy, but it worked. So this is a great uh, laptop and it deserves some more memory and I'm going to upgrade the memory next. So let's shut it down. So let us do this uh, memory upgrade rather quick because again it's uh, late on a work night. I always manage to, to work late on computers, I don't know how and why but probably because it never works out easily. Uh, and I hate this. You, you can see how strong these clips are. Why would you do that? You almost have to break this to get it out. That's crazy. Of course, remove the battery because we are working uh, on the memory. If you work on the hard drive, the risks are smaller, but on the memory, always, always, always take out the battery. Although I've never, dam never uh, damaged memory by mistake, but you really don't want to risk that. Okay. For uh, oh, sorry, two four gigabyte sticks. Make sure they are uh, in place. Push them down. Actually, they are not in place. You can see how easily you. You can mess things up. up. The right corner uh, end was not uh, in the correct position. Neither it is now. Why are you not going in? Okay, it's good this time. The memory is in place. Next one. Okay, again not in place, I don't know why this uh, go that hard in place, it's weird, usually they go much easier, but yeah, what can I do, okay, now it's good, put back the battery, it latched, put this thing back with all its bloody strong and extremely strong clips god they are strong yeah my phone uh, tighten the screws let's see if we have power yeah plug in the charger I have to get a new charger this one is not strong enough to to properly charge this battery and we seem to be okay
these are the first uh, startups of uh, Windows 10 so it will take a little bit of time it's still doing stuff in the background do not worry about that it will start to go faster and faster after uh, each uh, restart when it actually finishes everything else it would have been a good idea not to to wait for it to start on video but yeah the video was basically finished but then I decided that a bigger hard drive should go into this laptop so I got this Samsung 1TB hard drive second hand and I'm going to plug it in, put Windows on it and then this laptop is really complete. Okay, everything finished and I must say I'm really really excited about this laptop. It is really powerful and it's working perfectly. Basically I even got an original Dell charger for it because it's worth it and it's charging now without any problems the previous charger was too small to to charge it while uh, powered on uh, yeah, what can I say quad core i7 8 gigs of RAM 1 terabyte hard drive uh, dedicated graphic uh, card integrated graphic card it switches between them depending on uh, uh, power needs so yeah and all of this everything 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 for 150 dollars so yeah pretty good and the uh, only bad things about it every any uh, less thing that remains are the little marks from the fall that uh, it took at a point in its life that probably also damaged uh, the the uh, connector that I've repaired. So yeah, deal, uh, deals like this I want to keep making. All the drivers are installed, uh, only the free fall driver I needed to install myself, everything else Windows 10 installed by itself. The hard drive has no problems, Windows is activated and yeah, that's about it guys. A really beautiful laptop with gorgeous screen. It's, the colors are very good, the viewing angles are, are very good. I have some reflection here but uh, the angles are, are great on this display so yeah, couldn't ask for more. So thanks for watching. Give this video a like if you found it uh, enjoyable, subscribe, check out my other videos and see you again next time. Bye!